Hello, Ali Rush again. I got some real good talk for you this time. Real good talk. It uh, it's a consoling talk. Uh, let me start by saying, which is something you're not hearing very often. Do not let devil ride. What do I mean by that? Don't give him place in your thoughts, in your mind. Always use Jesus or the name of Jesus to cast him out. He wants to ride us straight to where he is, and that is hell. Now, I want to talk to you. Hopefully, you understand. I'm going to try to, to speak in understandable terms. But I want to talk to you from this, um, what do you call it? Uh, I'm going to talk to you from this subject. I call it a subject again. Fear and motives of this pandemic. I'm going to get into the problems that this pandemic is giving us with the help of Satan. You see, Satan is the author of sin. He pushes, he pushes sin and sickness in our direction to sway our hearts and minds, but don't let him in. Fear and motives of this pandemic. But God did not give us fear. And I want you to listen to me good. God did not give us fear. And I make that statement emphatically. Let me tell you what God gave you. And everything God did was out of one of these three. God gave us love, power, and a sound mind. You listen to me good now. God gave us love, power, and a sound mind. Let God's love move you in the direction of self-control. Knowing that God loves you should give you peace, consolation, and the joy that you are missing because you feel locked up and deserted. But let me tell you this. Let nothing control you, but seek to do what is best, not just for you, but for those around you. Don't ever do what the situation commonly calls for, but do what is wise and right. Seek to be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove. What does wisdom call for? Well, maybe if I tell you where wisdom originates, you'll know better of whom or what I speak. Wisdom comes from God. If one likes wisdom, let him ask God for it. We cannot lean in any direction we are pushed. Lean not unto your own understanding, but look to God. He is the supplier. All that we need is in him. The next thing God gave you is power. God gave you power over any works of the devil. If I ask you the question, are you a Christian? Most of you would say yes. What do we have power to do? You have power over your own ways and actions. Use it. This pandemic is the enemy. You have power over the enemy because Jesus gave it to you when he took the keys that had us locked up in the clutches of death. This pandemic is trying to lock you in death again. Do not allow this. Throw fear out the window and the devil with it. Pick up wisdom and move in the direction of the power that God has given you. What you say is that direction. Let me put it this way. What you say is that direction. Let me put it this way. Keep looking up. Did you hear me? Keep looking up. 
God gave you a sound mind. To let the devil control your mind is weak. Do not be weak. Bend those knees, cast off pride. Get to know God personally again, and you can defeat the enemy. This pandemic and the devil who brings it on is the enemy. That is where all the blame goes. Wake up, look up, and then get off your knees and stand up.